Using accurate projections is crucial to generating profitable lineups for DFS, whether you like to make your own or use a third-party source. While it's obvious that you want to use the most accurate projection source that you can, quantifying the accuracy of different sources and comparing them against each other has typically been a challenge. Fortunately, Fantasy Analyst provides the functionality we need to easily keep track of multiple projection sources, measure their accuracies, and compare them against each other with consistent assumptions. In this tutorial, I'll go step by step to show you how you can use multiple sets of projections and compare their historical accuracies in Fantasy Analyst. This example will be for a recently completed set of NBA games on November 14th. We will also assume the projections are for DraftKings. I already have historical stats and projections saved for NBA, but if you do not, make sure to download them from the database manager. We are going to be looking at three separate projection sources for this particular day. The first is the default third-party projections provided in Fantasy Analyst. The second is a set of projections from Fantasy Cruncher. And the third will be the neural network projections from Fantasy Analyst. The first thing we will need to do is save all of the projection sets that we want in Fantasy Analyst. Anytime you save a new source of projections, a projection set must be created. This is basically a label that you assign to the projections so that you can group them across multiple days. If we name a new projection set or select an existing one, we can click the Save button to store all of the projections under the Projected Points column. Beginning with the default third-party projections from Fantasy Analyst, nothing needs to be done for these as they are already saved under a projection set labeled third-party. If you look at the projection set drop-down menu, the third-party projection set is not shown as it is not editable. Next, I'm going to import Fantasy Cruncher's projections for this date from a CSV file. Fantasy Cruncher's projections can easily be copied from their website using their lineup rewind tool and pasted into Excel or another spreadsheet program. Before importing these, I need to format the spreadsheet to show player names in the first column and the Fantasy Cruncher projections in the second column. I then need to save the file as a .csv format. We can now import the CSV file from Fantasy Analyst. Any names from the CSV file that match those shown in Fantasy Analyst exactly will automatically have their projection values loaded in. As the notification shows, there were 69 exact matches made. The next notification mentions that two name substitutions need to be confirmed. Fantasy Analyst tries to match similar names when importing projections, so this potentially saves you time from having to manually correct your CSV files every time you try to import projections. We're now prompted to accept the suggested name substitutions, which are correct in this case, so we'll leave them both checked and accept. This means their projected values should be loaded in now as well. As you can see, the values in the projected points column have been updated with the Fantasy Cruncher values. To save these, let's type in Fantasy Cruncher as the projection set name and click Save. Doing this created a new projection set, and if we want to continue saving Fantasy Cruncher projections in the future to the same set, we will now be able to select this projection set from the drop-down menu and save more projections to it. Note that saved projection values can also be reloaded from these sets. Let's say we first want to generate some lineups using the third-party projections. We can easily load them in by right-clicking, choosing Select All, right-clicking again, and then choosing Use Third-Party Projections. As you can see, they're now being used. If we want to load back the Fantasy Cruncher projections and optimize with them, we just now make sure that the Fantasy Cruncher projection set is selected and then click Load. Let's now generate some projections from the neural network regression model provided with Fantasy Analyst. I won't get into the specifics here of how the model works, so please refer to the tutorial on the neural network projections for more information on it. Neural network projections are not saved by default like the third-party projections, so we have to create a separate projection set for them as well. I'll select all first, then right-click and choose Use Neural Network Projections to load all of the neural network projections into the projected points column. Now let's save these projections as a new set with the label Neural Network. So now that we have our three projection sources saved, let's take a look at how they did for this date. To do this, let's go to the Projection Accuracy tab. Before plotting any of the results, let's first take a look at some of the options here. First, the Projection Set Selection box is where we will choose the projection set that we want to look at. 
Next to it, we have a box for one or more comparison sets that can be selected. We can choose sets from here when we want results to be plotted only for projections that exist between all of the comparison sets selected. More on this in a minute. We then have an option for selecting the time frame that we want to look at the projections over. If we want, we can filter by position as well. Finally, there are two options at the end. The Exclude Non-Played option indicates that projections for players that didn't participate in a game will not be considered. The Exclude Zero Projections option will not include results for projections that had a value of zero set. Let's just leave all of these at their default values for now. So now let's go ahead and take a look at our default third-party projections first. All I need to do is click Third Party from the Projection Set Selection box and then click Plot. The window below now shows a variety of information. The Projected and Scored Points window shows all of the individual projections and results considered given the options selected above along with the errors. On the right, we can see both a histogram of the errors and a scatter plot of the projection errors versus the projection values. On the histogram plot, a few important metrics are also provided. The number of projections plotted, the standard deviation of the errors, and the R-squared value. When comparing projection sets, more accurate projections will have a lower standard deviation and a higher R-squared value. Now before we begin comparing these projections to another set, you may have noticed that we are currently plotting the results of the third-party projections over one month as shown in the date selection box. However, the other two projection sets only have values saved for November 14th. To get a one-to-one -one comparison of individual projections that exist between all three sets, let's select all three in the Comparison Projection Set box, which you can do by holding Shift or Control and left-clicking. If we replot, you can see that we are now only showing results for the third-party projections that have saved values where the Fantasy Cruncher and Neural Network sets also have projections which is currently only on November 14th. If we select the Fantasy Cruncher or Neural Network set and plot each of them, you'll notice on the histogram plot that we are always plotting results for the same 66 data points. We're now ready to compare the results, so let's see how well each set did. The third-party projections have a standard deviation of about 9, with an R-squared value of 0.59. Going to the Fantasy Cruncher projections, they appear to be less accurate for this particular day, showing a standard deviation of about 10.2 and an R-squared value of roughly 0.48. Finally, the Neural Network projections appear to have the most accurate results, showing a standard deviation of 8.58 and an R-squared value of 0.63. As this example showed, we were easily able to compare the accuracies of several projection sources with Fantasy Analyst. While these results were only for one day, you can continue to build your projection sets for your choice of sources over longer time frames to determine where you can get the best projections for building your lineups.